VPNs do not protect your data. Many YouTubers claim that you must get a VPN to protect yourself from hackers. I'm tired of this lie. Do you know how many hackers there are on the internet? Most of us don't use VPNs, so why aren't we hacked a hundred times a day? In this video, I'll explain what VPNs actually do. But first, I need to tell you how the internet works. When you visit a site like httpsbanks.com, your computer and the bank's computer send messages back and forth. These messages are sent either through cables, like Ethernet, or electromagnetic waves, like Wi-Fi. These messages are easy to intercept, so the only way to keep them safe is to scramble them with encryption. Ethernet isn't encrypted, and public Wi-Fi's encryption is notoriously bad. So that means we're doomed, right? Whoa, slow down there, buddy. The internet comes with another layer of encryption on top. This is the HTTPS protocol. The protocol verifies that you're talking to the real website, and then encrypts any data you're sending it, so no one else can eavesdrop. HTTPS is end-to-end -end encrypted. Only you and the recipient can read the messages, even if other layers of encryption are broken. It doesn't matter if a DNS server is compromised or if the hacker has your Wi-Fi password. If you're using HTTPS, your data is safe. Encryption is kinda like armor. Even if all the other layers of your armor are weak, you only need one strong layer that covers the whole body to protect yourself fully. HTTPS is your full impenetrable layer of armor. Of course, not all websites use HTTPS. If you visit a site that starts with HTTP without the S, Treat everything you send to that site as if it were broadcast into the world with a loudspeaker. Fortunately, very few legitimate sites still use HTTP. For more details, I've actually made an entire video on internet encryption. Don't say I never did anything for you. You just log into bank.com and say, Please pay Rob your parents' university $40,000. Sounds simple, right? Think again. With that out of the way, what's a VPN? A VPN is a third computer between you and the destination computer. If you use a VPN to browse bank.com, you are sending all the data to the VPN server first. Then the VPN server forwards it to bank.com. VPNs do usually add an additional layer of encryption between you and the VPN server. They do not, however, add additional encryption between the VPN server and the bank server. That's because the bank server doesn't know about the VPN, so they couldn't possibly prepare for this additional encryption. So, uh, why don't VPNs protect your data? Well, if you're using HTTPS to visit the site, your data is already end-to-end -end encrypted with the most up-to-date encryption. Adding yet another layer on top of that? Not really doing much there, pal. And VPNs don't even encrypt the whole journey. Besides, the part they do encrypt? The VPN itself can still read it. HTTPS doesn't do you dirty like that by leaking information to a third party. And if you're using HTTP without the S, what is wrong with you? Do VPNs do anything then? Yeah. While HTTPS encrypts the data you're sending to the bank, it can encrypt the sender and recipient's IP addresses. That's because the routers forwarding your message need to know where to send stuff. USPS wouldn't be able to deliver mail if you wrote the sender and recipient addresses inside the envelope. Without a VPN, a hacker in the same cafe as you can easily tell which websites you are visiting. They just don't know what you're doing on those websites. This is where the VPN comes in. It can encrypt the bank's address in the messages between you and the VPN server. And it can emit your address in the messages between the VPN server and bank server. That means hackers in this leg of the journey can't see the destination IP address, and hackers in this leg, and the bank, can't see your IP address. Let's return to the mail analogy. HTTPS is like an impenetrable platinum envelope that only you and the bank can open. However, you still need to write the to and from addresses so USPS can deliver the letter. 
then the VPN is like a friend who's agreed to forward the mail for you. You first wrap the letter in a second platinum envelope, which says from you to the friend. USPS and anyone who peeks at the letter cannot see the bank's address. Then your friend opens the VPN platinum envelope and sends the inner envelope to the bank, writing from the friend's address to the bank address. At this point, USPS, eavesdroppers, and the bank cannot see your address. Your friend did a suboptimal job of preventing eavesdroppers, a job the first platinum envelope had already accomplished anyway. Although you don't need VPNs to protect your data, they still have their uses. I can think of five. One, you want to visit a site that is banned by your local region. For example, if you want to watch this YouTube video in some hypothetical country that bans YouTube, that country's routers will see that you're accessing YouTube.com, say, nah uh and burn your connection. But if you have your network requests forwarded by a VPN server in Hong Kong, those routers will see that you're just accessing a random IP in Hong Kong. The VPN server in Hong Kong can then send the request to YouTube, no problem. This video is so banned in China. 2. You want to visit a site that discriminates against your region. Say you want to buy plane tickets to Korea, and you know buying these tickets is cheaper in the UK than US, but you're in the US. Then, you can have a British VPN server forward your messages to the plane ticket seller. It looks like you are in the UK, so it offers you cheaper tickets. 3. You don't want your local network to know what site you're visiting. If you, for some reason, don't want people around you or your ISP to know what sites you visit, you can use a VPN. They'll see the VPN's IP instead of the real IP you're visiting. However, this does mean your VPN will now know what sites you're visiting, so I'll let you decide if that's actually an improvement. 4. Corporate Networks Some companies have internal networks protected from the outside by firewalls. If an employee is working from home, they will have to work from outside the internal network, which is a huge hassle. Instead, they can use a computer inside the internal network as a VPN server. Now everything works as if there were that VPN server already inside. 5. You actually know what you're doing and aren't just using VPNs because a YouTuber with zero knowledge of computers told you to. In summary, you don't need VPNs to encrypt your data. HTTPS already does that. Make sure not to send sensitive data over HTTP sites and you won't need to pay for a VPN. VPNs are good for hiding what site you're visiting on your end and hiding your region on the site's end. VPNs aren't useless. Just make sure to understand what they actually do before buying one. Oh, you want to know my thoughts on password managers? Well, password managers are great and you should get one. Bye!